Okay, so again, we are studying about time signature and the examples are 2, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4. But there are also other time signature like 2, 2, and 6, 8. So we will study further about the bottom number of the time signature. Again, what is uh, the bottom number, it tells what kind of note will receive one beat. So, ang four, sabi natin ng nakaraan ay quarter note. How about two? Paano kung ang nasa bottom number ay maging two? So, two means half note. So, ano magiging ibig sabihin niyan? There are how many beats in every measure? Two beats in every measure. Every half note receives one beat. Paano po yun? Titignan natin. I-review ulit natin. Sa 2-4, uh, there are two beats in every measure. And every quarter note receives one beat. So, ang quarter note ay... One beat. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Paano pag naging half note siya? Titignan natin. Sa tuto, ilang beat ang, one, ang half note? One beat. So, magiging So, magig ang half note sa tuto ay 1 beat. So, it becomes 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So, kung ang half note sa tuto ay 1 beat, ilan beat na ngayon ang quarter note? O, parang magmamat tayo dito. Okay? Sa 2, 2 ang, half, ang half note ay 1 beat. Kaya ang quarter note na yun ay magiging 1 half beat na siya. Kasi ang kalahati ng half note ay quarter note. At ang whole note natin, kung ang half note ay 1 beat, ano ngayon ang magre-receive ng 2 beats? Whole note. 2 beats. Okay. So, nagbago na yung uh, value ng note natin. Hindi na siya katulad dun sa regular na time signature na alam natin. Na basta 4 yung nasa baba, automatic yung quarter note ay 1 beat. So, to explain further, kuburahin ko ulit ito. Yeah. So, lalagay ko dito. Half beat is equal to 1 beat. Quarter note becomes 1 half beat. And whole note becomes 2 beats. So, kung isusulat natin yan sa musical composition, magiging ganito siya. Again, tignan natin. Sa tuto, ilang beats sa isang measure? There are two beats in every measure. Every half note receive one beat. So, this becomes one half. One half equals one beat. Half note is again one beat. So, this becomes two beats. One beat and one beat. This is 2 2 bits. Okay. So tama siya. Again, 2 2 there are 2 bits in every measure. In every measure. 
hindi na siya katulad dito sa 4 kasi nga nagbago na yung value ng note natin kasi yung half, no half note ang magre-receive na 1 bit. Baka ma-confuse kayo kasi sabi nyo bakit dito 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Kasi nga, yung bottom number tells what kind of note. Anong note yung magre-receive na 1 bit. So, dito sa 2, 2, ang half note magre-receive siya ng 1 bit. So, ang equivalent, nagbago na yung equivalent ng mga note. Ito na yung mga sila. Ito na yung sila. So, yung eight, kung dadagdagan ko to yung 8th note mo ay magiging 1 fourth bit na lang siya. So, how about 6 eight? How about 6 eight? Buburahin ko ito. Buburahin ko na rin ito. 6 eight. 8 simply means there are 6 bits in every measure. Every, anong note to? This is 8th note. Every 8th note receives 1 bit. Okay. So, this time, ang magre-receive ng 1 bit, it's not quarter note, it is not half note, it is a note. So, paano yan kapag sinulat natin into uh, composition? Let's see. 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. O, oh, dyan, masyadong madami. Dalawa na lang. So, there are, again, 6, 8. There are how many beats? 6 beats. Every 8th note receives 1 beat. So, this is 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Total is 6. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, bit. There are 6, so this is a total of 6. So, kung ang 8th note receives 1 bit, ilan naman ang bilang ng, ng quarter note? So, sa 6, 8, magbabago na ang value ng mga notes ulit. Tingnan natin kung paano nagbago. So, again, 8th note receives 1 beat. Kung ang 8th note magre-receive siya ng 1 beat, ang quarter note na ngayon ay magre-receive ng 2 beats. Ang half note ay magre-receive ng 4 beats. At ang walang whole note pala doon. <laughs> walang whole note sa 6, 8. Ano kayo nang magre-receive ng ng uh, 6 bits dotted half no. at ang magre-receive ng 3 bits ay dotted quarter no I, ho I hope I have a chance to explain further about dotted notes kaso natapos na natin yan <laughs> previous lesson so ayun siya so ito na yung uh, ayusin ko ulit Magig uh, ito na yung magiging value ng notes sa pag ang time signature ay